Good day, I'm Nico Barnard, I'm agronomist for the Eastern Free State, and I'm here today to talk to you about the dry beans of our package that we offer for you as a customer. When you talk dry beans, um, uh, the first thing that came to mind is fertilizer. And as you can see, dry beans remove quite a lot of uh, fertilizer uh, nutrients from the soil, especially nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And uh, uh, these, these products, for every ton you produce, you take away uh, 32 kilograms of nitrogen, two kilograms of phosphorus, and 12 kilograms of potassium, and a little bit of sulfur. And it's important when, to, when you produce soybeans and to fertilize the soybeans. For two ton potential, uh, we recommend um, 70 kilograms of nitrogen to 20 kilograms of phosphorus and 20 kilograms of potassium. And that is um, if you make the assumption that your asset saturation is less than 5%. The reason for that is that soybeans doesn't perform quite well under high uh, asset saturation soils. Um, and it's important that you know that to, not to plant your, your, your dry beans in the um, uh, acid saturated soils. The next thing, the, the, the thing is that if, if you plant, use too much nitrogen, you, your beans tend to grow long to make a lot of excessive, produce a lot of excessive growth, a lot of long stems, and that is a cause a problem for. Um, future problems, um, especially when that stem gets too long, it starts to drop and it can break, and that's one thing, then you lose your beans, or it can drop down and the beans can start touching the soils and it can get soiled, and uh, quality is everything in beans. So if that happens, your bean quality is going down, and that it causes uh, uh, quality, downgrade quality, so it's a very, very much downgrade in your your value of your product. And also, too much uh, nitrogen is quite often it delays maturity, and that means the beans will be ready, will be dry, but the plants stay green, and uh, that is a big problem at the harvesting. You get uh, green stains on your beans, and the buyers doesn't like that. The other problem is with this over exaggerated uh, uh, vegetative growth, pests and diseases can be a problem, and, um, and that all, all, all these aspects will reduce your quality. And as I said, quality is everything in beans. You want quality because quality is what you sell. Um, row spacing and plant population, it goes hand in hand with beans. For a normal um, 0.9 meter rows, um, we recommend uh, between 100 and 140 seeds per hectare and at an average of 2,000 seeds per kilogram, make sure on your, bag, on your, your label on your bag that, uh, that two th what, what the size of beans has to make that calculation, but on average, 2,000 seeds per kilogram for beans gives you 60, between 60 and 70 kilogram per hectare of, of, of um, seeds you need to plant to get 120 to 140,000 plants per hectare. The, remain, the reason is we, why we recommended this stand. If your stand is too high, you'll get smaller plants with tender stems, and that is tends to lodge, and at, at, when it lodges, quality re, is reduced. And when um, you plant too low population, you get too much uh, uh, beans, uh, pods per plant that can be too heavy, and a plant can also lodge again. So it's a, it's a fine balance to uh, have that right stand to get uh, the ideal um, yield. The, the, the thing is, a uh, high population won't get you a high yield because beans are so environmental, environmentally sensitive that they want uh, uh, the environment will indicate what the yield will be. It, uh, you can't mani manipulate yield so much with beans. So the environment will say, this is a, this is a yield, uh, population is not we want the ideal population to simulate the best quality. When choosing a dry bean cultivar, everybody just wants to look at yield, but yield isn't everything. Um, quality, as I said, is the main factor. Um, quality, clean, nice clean seed, nice clean, uh, larger seed, and that is what drives price. If you've got clean, white, clean, nice clean, um, big seeds, you get a high price, 
but uh, and with this goes agronomic characteristics. It's important to realize that the characteristics you use will uh, of a cultivar will determine where the cultivar is recommended to. We've got the four um, red speckled beans. We have one for eight, the old stalwart, the cultivar that's been been on the market for at least 23 years and are still going strong. Um, it's very difficult to, 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 to stop a champion from being with us. Um, PAN 9213 is in the process of replacing PAN 148 um, and uh, I think it's a cultivar we need to be used in the future and PAN 1919, the healthy one in the eye disease areas, very important, 9261. A um, uh, uh, very clean bean, large seeds, especially in the cooler production areas. And then we've got pan 123 and pan 9141, that is small white bean market. And uh, this is a total different crop, but they are managed in the same way. For recommendations in areas, for the West, we would recommend pan 148 and 9213 due to the fact that the, these two products are quite uh, adaptable in uh, uh, warmer areas with pan 123 as the white canning bean and then Pumalanga we'd also recommend 148 with pan 9216. Um, the reason there is that it's uh, Pumalanga is a higher yielding area and in that high yielding area these two products seems to be doing the best. In the eastern free state the biggest area for bean production you can plant any of these beans um, but in my opinion, 9292 and 9216 is the two go-to cultivars for Eastern Free State. And uh, again, KwaZulu-Natal, you see we don't recommend one for due to its disease uh, acceptability. Um, but in the small scale market, PAN 9292, again, due to its good disease package. To conclude, 148 is still a top seller, despite the fact that it's a very old product, it's a product that can be widely used. Pan 1992, the very healthy one, with a very good clean bean, um, widely adapted to nearly all areas, and a very good re disease resistance. Pan 9216, the red one with the red flowers, um, has got a very nice, raw, good big seed that's easy, that the sellers want. And again, Pan 9213, the, re the new upcoming big seller, I think it will replace Pan 148 in the long term. And again, in a um, small canning bean, um, Pan 123, um, it's the bean in South Africa at this stage. Every bean that you lead or read on a label produced in South Africa, you will see that is Pan 123 that you eat. And again, um, the new one, Pan 9141, is especially uh, for also for a uh, uni especially known for its nice uniform bean size. Um, please contact your nearest uh, representative to get more information in, and if you want to order these products. Thank you and have a good time.